David Cameron is prepared to use special constitutional powers to ensure the plans for an EU referendum become law before the next election. The Prime Minister has pledged to use the Parliament Act to overpower the House of Lords and get the EU referendum bill onto the statute books before 2015, it is understood. Mr Cameron fears the bill, which promises to give the British public a vote on membership of the European Union by 2017, could be killed in the House of Lords by Labour and Liberal Democrat peers, and that would leave the Conservatives vulnerable to attacks by UKIP in the next election. Aha! And there we have it, the true motivation in those final lines. David Cameron is not interested in the people's democratic rights. He's becoming fearful that Nigel Farage's underdog party UKIP might just give him a run for his money at the next general election. Well, let's think where we'll be in 2015. The Office of National Statistics predicts the UK debt to have skyrocketed to £700 billion, to which the government's only solution is to print more money. And Mark Carney is down on record as telling the bond markets he will take the Bank of England's balance sheet from £4 trillion to £9 trillion. Now, as you can see from our website, you've got EU rules and regulations pouring over the dike all over the place. And it's obvious legislation that everyone can see. 60 mile an hour speed limits on the M1, floods of immigration. I could go on, <laughs> and I often do. However, couple this with the Help to Buy scheme, otherwise known as Georgie Porgy's Let's Reinflate the Housing Bubble, which will increase personal debt for the people. Now, when the interests start to rise, and they will, the economy is going to fall flat on its ass. Does David Cameron really think, in the face of all this evidence, that his attempt to appease the people will wash? <laughs> well, according to this article, apparently he does. <laughs>